Hello and welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to be talking about kind of an implementation detail, but we use floats a lot, right? Whatever the number is, we, we represent a lot of things by floats. And we know that floating point numbers are an approximation. They're an approximation of a decimal value. And um, if we want something that's actually mathematical or precise, we have rationals in Lisp as well. So we can express, oops, not like that. We can express a half exactly or a third exactly. And there is no loss of precision here. But when we're dealing with floats, the, it's representing um, a large value and potentially a lot fewer bits. But what should be interesting to know is while a lot of us would assume, like our younger programmers at least, us younger programmers, might assume that it's an IEEE 754 floating point, which is what most hardware everywhere um, is using. That's the representation they're using internally. That is not what is required by the spec. You can go to the specifications page on float and you can go through and see how floating point numbers are represented. You can see how they're defined in terms of each other. But nowhere does it say you must use this specific representation. Um, and that's a very important thing because it means you can't assume that when you're dealing with certain things like maybe if you're using the F of I to call out to other things and you're wondering why there's some kind of conversion going on there. It's because of these kind of details. Now, most um, implementations probably are using IEEE 754. In fact, there's a bit of the spec that tells us that if we look at the features list, we should be able to see IEEE floating point if they're using that. And that just gives us that information. However, it's, it's not required that your implementation is using IEEE floating points. And at first this might seem really weird, like holy shit, how, how is common Lisp like this? But it's actually true of languages like C or C++. Those ones, again, don't mandate that size. In fact, very similarly to the way that both Common Lisp and C++ don't mandate the size of a byte. It can be any number of bits by the implementation. Um, Common Lisp defines it differently from C++, but again, it's just to point out that these things are not set in stone. A lot of these languages came around from times when there were machines with different length bytes, there were machines with different floating point representations. And just because IEEE is super pervasive now, like in almost everything that you are picking up on a daily basis is using IEEE floating point, that doesn't mean that the spec is mandating that, and it doesn't mean you can assume it in every case. So if you're writing things that have to run on every possible permutation of Common Lisp, this stuff can matter. We'll talk about more of those kind of little details again in the future, but for now, I'll, um, yeah, I'll see you another little bit of list.